Hi guys, this is the Java series. Now let's discuss about the differences between string, string builder and string buffer. Okay, the differences between string, string builder and string buffer are based on two parameters. The first one is mutability, the second one is performance. Okay, let's see this example. Here I have created the package. Package name is model1. Okay, and I have imported the string buffer and string builder. Okay, both the classes are inside the java.language package. Okay, java.language package is the default package. So, there is no need to write like this. Okay, and I have created the class strbuibuf. Okay, inside this class, I have created the user defined function concord1 and this method is the static method so we can call this method without the object of this class is it and inside this user defined function i have created the argument s1 its data type is string okay and here i try to concordinate s1 with the u string is it possible to concordinate this u with the s1 string data type variable? No. Why? Because here I have used the string data type for s1 variable. This is the immutable that is non-changeable. Okay. So if we create any variable as string means if we try to change the value of the variable means we won't get any errors but concordination is not possible because the feature for this string data type is what non-changeable that is immutable and here i have created one more user defined function concord2 class is string builder okay and s2 is the object for this string builder class and inside this string builder class we have the inbuilt method okay here i have used that method append okay so this method is used to append the given string to the existing value of this is true okay is it possible possible okay if we use the string builder class we can add the value to the existing one. Okay. So, what property is this? This is the mutable one. If we use the string builder class, we can add. Okay. So, that is the mutable property. But that is not present inside this string class. Isn't it? Okay. And here I have created one more. Concord. 3. This is also the user event function. Here I have used the static keyword. So, we can call this method without the object of this class. Isn't it? Here I have used the string buffer class. This is the object for this string buffer. Okay. So, is it possible to add the value to the existing one? Possible. Like the string builder not like the string okay so then what is the difference between the string buffer and string builder string buffer is slower performance when compared with the string builder okay string class is the immutable one string builder class is the mutable one and string buffer is also the mutable one. But what is the difference between the string builder and string buffer? String buffer is slower performance than the string builder class. Got it? Append method is present inside the string buffer class. Okay. So, I can access the append method with the help of the object of this string buffer class. The God 
is the new value. This value will be added to the existing value of this S3. Okay. And here we have the main method. Execution starts only from the main method. Okay. And here I have created the variable S1. Its data type is string. This holds the immutable property, isn't it? Okay. And here I have given the value to S1. Thank. And this is our call statement. Concord1. And inside the S1 we have the thank. So after encounter this line, the control jumps from the 35th line to the definition part. That is the 11th line. Okay. The thank will be stored inside the S1. Okay. Here, inside of the S1, we have the thank and here we have the concordination symbol and this is the string u. Okay. Is it possible to concordinate thank with u? No. Why? Because string is the immutable one, non-changeable one, isn't it? So, the value S1 won't be changed. Okay. And the control line jumps back to 14th line to the 37th line. Here, that value, that is the S1, that is the thank will be printed on our console. And here I have created the S2. This is the object for string builder. Okay. And a new keyword I have used. And this is the parameterized constructor for this class. And here I have given the value good. Here we have the call statement. Inside the S2 we have the good. Isn't it? After encounter this line, the control jumps from the 41th line to the definition part, 17th line. Okay. And this value good will be stored inside the S2. Okay. And uh, inside the S2 we have the good. Now I try to append the health to the existing one. Okay. Is it possible to add this health to the existing one? Yes, it's possible. Okay. So what is the value of S2 after encounter this line? Good health. Okay. And the control again jumps back from 20th line to 43rd line. So good health will be printed on our console. Okay, and here I have created the object S3 for string buffer. Okay, and this is the parameterized constructor for this class. And here the value, great. Okay, and this is the call statement. So, the control jumps from the 47th line to the 23rd line. Okay, and this great will be stored inside the S3. So, S3 holds great. Now, I try to add the God to the existing great. Is it possible? Possible. Okay. Because this is also the mutable one. Okay. So, great God. Now, the value of S3 is what? Great God. Okay. And the control again jumps back from 26th line to that 49th line, here that value will be printed on our console. I hope you all understood about the differences between the string, string buffer and string builder. Okay, let me execute this one. And here concord1, u, s1 is thank. So, the control comes here. Now, s1 value is thank. I try to combine thank with u, but this u want to be concordinated with the thank because string is the immutable one. So, thank only is displayed here. Okay. And the second one, concord2. So, S2 value is good. So, concord2 definition part is here. So, here S2 value is good, isn't it? So, good plus health. That's why we got good health. Because this is mutable one. So we can add. Okay. And again the third 
1. This is the current statement. So, S3 value is great. Where is the definition part for this? Here. Now, great is the value of S3. So, God will be appended. Great God is the result for S3. That's why we got this result. Okay. So, what is the differences between string, string builder and string buffer? String is the immutable one. String builder is the mutable one. String buffer is the mutable one. But string buffer is slower performance compared with the string builder class. That's it. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message in the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.